for Neighborhood Community Shoutouts. You might notice Kevin's not sitting next to me, but that's because he's going to work the camera for a minute because I need to show you guys that I am in honor of my daughter-in-law, Lucy Owl, who had a spill. She fell down the stairs and then she got hurt at gymnastics. I am sporting owl earrings. Got them? Mm-hmm. An owl shirt. Mm-hmm. And owl pants. All for Lucy Owl Bones. My daughter-in-law, whom I love very, very much. Hope you feel better, Lucy. So thoughts and prayers go out to Lucy Owl for, from us, and hopefully um, if everybody in the community, community can also send out thoughts and prayers for Lucy, we would greatly appreciate that. So thank you very much, everybody. Yeah, they, <laughs> I don't have to lean in so much. Yeah, there. Okay. Yeah. The Jukebox! Happy birthday on October 30th! Happy birthday to you! Philip Gibson! Happy big 30th birthday to you! Greg Myers! He became an uncle today! Congratulations, Greg Myers! They had, his brother had a Baby girl, Mackenzie Ray Myers. So, happy birthday, Mackenzie Ray Myers, and congratulations to Greg for becoming an uncle and to his brother and his brother's wife or girlfriend for becoming parents. Congratulations. Okay, thoughts and prayers. Terry's Johnson, an update on her uncle stand. He was moved to a regular room, removed some tubes. He is making progress. Hopefully he will be able to go home soon. Her cousin has taken three months leave of absence and him and his wife are going to be staying with, their, with Uncle Stan to help take care of him at home. So he is doing much better. He's a very strong man and he is up and about and walking and very stubborn, just like my dad. And he's going to pull through this. Um, continued prayers for Jessa J. She is still having some issues with her voice and she is doing some filming still, but it's hard. Um, hit and miss when she can and cannot talk. So if everybody can continue to send out thoughts and prayers to Jessa J, we would greatly appreciate that. And Wilma Purple, thoughts and prayers um, out to her for an upcoming surgery that she has going on. So Wilma Purple, you're in our thoughts and prayers and the community um, as well will be sending you thoughts and prayers. Okay, now we have a whole list of welcome to the community, welcome to the neighborhood. We got a big boost of subscribers due to Drax Shadow and Mom's Vlog 80. So let's get started. Kevin's going to have to help me on some of these names. Yeah. Hey, Mackenzie Way, welcome to the neighborhood. Jamie Vlog 90, welcome to the neighborhood. Addison Trailer, welcome to the neighborhood. Face Beside 45 Bellamy, welcome to the neighborhood. Now some of these people may have channels I have not had a chance to check. So go and check them out if they did, if they do, and uh, thumbs up, give them some support. Big Lou, welcome to the neighborhood. He's over for Mom's Vlog 80, and he says we're a lot, we, we seem like we're a little crazy. 
and I think he sounds like he'll fit right in. So glad to have you. Welcome to the neighborhood. Justin Ohella, also over from Mom's Vlog 80. Welcome to the neighborhood. Elaine Gibson, also over from Mom's Vlog 80. Welcome to the neighborhood. She also says we're a little nuts. And we are. Kevin had me tested. Trust me, I am nuts. Adrian Pedro, also from Mom's Vlog 80. Welcome to the neighborhood. 619 Lego Man from Mom's Vlog 80. Welcome to the neighborhood. Hitman 1755. If I need you, can I hire you? Also over from Mom's Vlog 80. Welcome to the neighborhood. Just kidding about that Hitman thing. Wrestling Fan 6 WWE. Also over from Mom's Vlog 80. Welcome to the neighborhood. Cedric Cooper likes my tattoo. Thank you very much. Well, over from Mom's Vlog 80. Welcome to the neighborhood. Kayla Poo, also over from Mom's Vlog 80. Welcome to the neighborhood. Abel Ariola, also over from Mom's Vlog 80. Welcome to the neighborhood. Okay. R3CKL33S Gaming. I think I have that right. If not, let me know. Also over from Mom's Vlog 80. Welcome to the neighborhood. Marquise Council. Also from Mom's Vlog 80. Welcome to the neighborhood. Roger Waters. Welcome to the neighborhood. Yes, he is a musician on his channel. He does have a channel. Go check it out. Roger Waters, guitar player for uh, Pink Floyd. He does actually do some Pink Floyd stuff on his channel. Jacques Vermeulen, also from Mom's Vlog 80. Welcome to the neighborhood. Big Dude has his own channel. Go check him out. Welcome to the neighborhood. ATL Gamer. Welcome to the neighborhood. Mike D. Welcome to the neighborhood. Selena Brett. Welcome to the neighborhood. Whew. We had a lot of welcomes to the neighborhood. And we hope you all stick around, check out some of our videos, and decide to join our neighborhood community because we do have an awesome community. Okay, last week's question was, would you rather live in a haunted house or an old abandoned castle? Okay. Haunted House, we had Lucy Owl said that she would rather live in a haunted house because she would like to meet some new friends. I'm assuming she means the ghosts that live there. Dougie Style would like to live in a haunted house because it's smaller and it would have less property taxes. Yeah. Easier to heat, too. <laughs> yeah. Susie here, she said... Lives in a haunted house now. Stayed in a creepy castle for her anniversary. No problem with either. Ashley Smith. Pretend she would live in a castle. She would pretend she is the queen. She loves creepy old stuff. Loves Halloween. And loves the history of castles. No problems there. I have to read. Bella Luna. I would prefer to live in a creepy castle, but I would like to live alone. If I had to live with my husband, I would like to live in a haunted house because I am sure I could enchant the spirits and convince them to drive my husband mad. I would banish him to the attic and lock him away for all eternity. We've been married for almost 34 years, which is way too long. And I'm at the point where his, 
he breathes too loudly. I had to read that one out loud because that one is just too perfect. Okay, and then I wanted to yes. also <laughs> yeah. read Margatech Clevenger's. I would love to live in a creepy old castle. There would be so much to explore. Looking for hidden rooms, bookshelves where you can move a book and there's a room. I would have some fun with visitors. Yeah. So. Put the candle back! <laughs> so those are my answers. Which one would you choose? Well, you know us, we would love to be in a haunted house, but I gotta tell you, I, I've never heard of a castle that wasn't haunted. So I would say a castle then. As long as I don't have to pay the property tax. Or to pay to have it heated. Yeah. I would say a castle. And I don't care about the property taxes because we would be pay. rich and, and have to live there. And we would give tours and do whodunit weekends and all of that kind of stuff. So it would make its own money. My question for tonight is... Do you live near any spooky places? If so, what? And have you ever been there and experienced anything spooky? Spooky. Spooky. <laughs> it is time for Neighborhood <laughs> Community Credit Roll. Uh, it's about time. Boop. Okay, so last week's movie was Peter Jackson's Bad Taste. It was one of his very first uh, things he did it. He actually paid for it himself. Uh, it took him four years to make it. The uh, studio did kick in some money at the end to, after they realized that it was going to actually be an interesting movie. Uh, the question was, why did the aliens have these swooped back heads? And the answer is, since uh, he was working with a zero budget and um, he was doing it all himself, uh, he had to be able to fit the head into his mother's oven. So he designed the heads to fit in her oven because they were his latex and they had to dry in the oven. And that's the answer! And those who got that right was Terry Johnson, Tanya Longley, and the Abyss 92882. Now! in honor of Halloween and uh, what we did today. Today's question is about the movie, the 1978 Halloween, John Carpenter's Halloween. Um, I've asked questions about this before. It's got a lot of cool information about it. Today's vlog is all about the locations. But the, tonight's question is about the mask. How did the mask come about? And what almost was the, uh, the mask of Michael Myers. Good question. Very good question. Okay, so I want to remind everybody that there will not be a full vlog tomorrow night, but we will be putting clips up as we go because we are going to Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights. If anybody out there is at Universal Studios tomorrow night and sees us, feel free to come on up and say hello and get into our vlog. So, that is it for tonight. Let's see, I gotta remember how I end these all. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I always forget these. Uh, you are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We love you all so very, very much. Thumbs up. Please go by and check out everything else that we do. And we will see you all next week. Bye. What she said. Yep. Twice. <laughs>